Hi, this is Jody from Teachtopia TV. All of our videos are available at teachtopia.com with a brief tutorial on how to convert a percentage to a fraction. I'm going to give you three examples, work through them, and hopefully make the process very clear for you when you go about doing these on your own. So let's go ahead and start with 20%. We know that 20% is 20 out of 100, so we simply write 20 out of 100. Now, we are not allowed to leave that at 20 out of 100. It needs to be in its lowest term or lowest form. Um, so we think to ourselves, what is the greatest common factor, the greatest number that goes into both 20 and 100? Well, 5 goes into both, 10 goes into both, but so does 20. So we're going to divide by 20, both the top and bottom, both the numerator and denominator. And 20 here goes in one time. 20 here goes in five times. So 20% is the equivalent of one fifth. All right, let's do another scenario. And we're gonna go ahead and race my electronic chalkboard here and give you scenario number two. Let's say you get 17%. And here we go, oh, that's 17 out of 100. We need to think to ourselves, is there any factor other than one that will go into both 17 and 100? Mm -hmm -hmm. 17 does not evenly go into 100. Five does not go nice into 17. I'm thinking through all the possible scenarios. 17 one hundredths is in its lowest form. 17% equivalent with, as a fraction is 17 hundredths. Let's do one more final scenario. Clearing the electronic chalkboard. And now I'm going to give you a nice little magic number. And that magic number is going to be 78%. Now, now we have 78 over 100. Let me make that 8 look a little better. All right. I don't know if it looks better or not, but the 78 over 100. Now, we think to ourselves, is that in its lowest or simplest form? And the answer is, it's not. 78 out of 100 could clearly be reduced. So, what is the largest number that goes into both 78 and 100? Hmm. Well, I'm trying to think. Hmm. Does 50 go into both of them? Definitely not. 39 while times 2 equals 78 does not go nicely into 100. So let's go ahead and start with divided by 2 for both. Okay, 2 is clearly a factor of 78. That brings us down to 39 50 is. Could anything go into both 39 and 50? Do they have a common factor other than 1? No, they do not. So 78% in its lowest terms or simplest form is going to be 39 50ths. I hope you enjoyed converting percentages to fractions. There's way more educational videos at teachtopia.com. This is Jody from Teachtopia TV.